Illinois State Police are investigating a disturbing incident that occurred at the intersection of Division Street and Elston Avenue in Chicago, where a mob attacked a squad vehicle, creating chaos and endangering lives. Chicago, get a mob. As an ISP trooper approached the intersection, they were met with a disturbing sight. Several vehicles blocked the intersections and individuals from the mob began swarming the trooper's squad vehicle. They just broke my window. Trouble in my best location. Division. Dashcam footage reveals a chaotic scene with about 100 people swarming the squad vehicle, hurling projectiles and setting off fireworks. The officer prioritizes safety, navigating cautiously to find a secure route amidst the surrounding hazards. Viewer discretion is advised. The following footage depicts a real-life shootout between law enforcement officers and a suspect, providing an unfiltered glimpse into the intensity of the encounter. Just fire! Just fire! Jesus! The suspect abruptly stops his vehicle at the side of the road, but rather than surrendering, he exits the vehicle with the intent to engage the officers. The scene erupts into chaos as bullets fly, forcing the officers to take immediate evasive action and return fire to neutralize the threat. The hell is he doing? Get on your knees. In the distance, a woman approaches the police officer with her hands raised in surrender, signaling her willingness to cooperate with law enforcement. It becomes apparent that she is the passenger of the suspect's vehicle. In a chilling sequence of events captured by dash cams and body cams, the Utah Highway Patrol unveils the harrowing moments that unfolded on a fateful day along Interstate 80. Are you okay? Are you okay? Can you... Stay here for your protection, okay? 12 436. Got one vehicle, two occupants standing. Approaching the car where the injured passengers await, the trooper's words of reassurance pierce through the chaos, urging them to remain inside for their safety while he works to extinguish the raging flames. 339, are you involved as well? Affirm my vehicle got rear-ended, but I wasn't in it. As the trooper navigates the scene with unwavering resolve, the gravity of the situation becomes apparent, highlighting the bravery and dedication of those who serve on the front lines of emergency response. In the aftermath of a thunderstorm that ravaged the area the previous night, the streets of New Jersey bore the scars of the havoc wrought by Mother Nature. As dawn breaks and the cleanup efforts begin, the unsuspecting worker faces a life-threatening encounter when the damaged wire unexpectedly catches fire upon making contact with the wet ground. With lightning speed and quick thinking, the worker reacts swiftly to the imminent threat, narrowly escaping the jaws of death in a split-second decision that could have had catastrophic consequences. Dramatic video released by the Spokane County Sheriff's Office in Washington captures the harrowing moments as Deputy Britton Morgan drives through the flames of the Oregon fire on August 18th when the fire was first detected. The body-worn camera footage from Deputy Morgan provides a first-hand look at the heroic actions taken by law enforcement during the wildfire emergency. Despite the perilous conditions, Deputy Morgan remains focused on the task at hand, working tirelessly to alert residents and guide them to safety. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Okay. Head up that way, alright? God bless you. The video captures moments of tension and urgency as Deputy Morgan encounters residents and assesses the situation, all while flames rage nearby. In a recent incident captured on dashcam footage, Greenfield police engaged in a pursuit that culminated in a dramatic stop using spike strips. As the pursuit progressed, officers strategically deployed spike strips at the intersection of Forest Home Avenue and Cold Spring Road. The video shows the suspect vehicle hitting the spike strips, causing its tires to deflate and the vehicle to slow down. Uh, 
Despite the efforts of the driver to evade capture, the spike strips effectively immobilized the suspect vehicle, bringing it to a halt near 55th and Morgan. In this heart-pounding footage, we witness the daring pursuit of Montrell Jones, a known member of the GBG, or Gutterboy Gang, by law enforcement officers. Officer Moister and Officer Stewart intervened, attempting to detain Jones as he displayed uncooperative behavior. But what happened next shocked everyone present. The footage reveals Jones reversing his car abruptly, dragging Officer Stewart and slamming him into Officer Moister's patrol car. The video then shows Jones fleeing the scene at high speed, leading to a dangerous pursuit on the streets of the city. Despite the heavy traffic and perilous conditions, law enforcement officers pursued Jones relentlessly, reaching speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. In the heart of the valley, reports of vehicles involved in intersection takeovers prompted a swift response from AZPS troopers and the Street Racing Task Force. After locating the suspect vehicle, an AZDPS sergeant initiates a daring maneuver, deploying the grappler police bumper to bring the vehicle to a safe stop. With precision and skill, the troopers swiftly move in to detain the occupants of the vehicle, both of whom are identified as 17-year-old males. In the midst of a bustling street, Officer Ryan Bunder of the Warminster Township Police Department springs into action as he spots a truck behaving erratically. Unbeknownst to Officer Bunder, the driver of the truck is experiencing seizures, causing the vehicle to move forward uncontrollably. With determination and quick reflexes, Officer Bunder manages to reach the moving truck and bring it to a stop, preventing a potential disaster. When the truck safely stopped, the officers carefully extracted the driver from the vehicle and moved him to the side of the road, where they could provide medical assistance until further help arrived. In the icy grip of an Alaskan winter, danger lurks around every snow-covered bend. Recently, a tow truck driver found himself in a heart-stopping close call while responding to an emergency on a treacherous highway. Oblivious to the impending danger, the tow truck driver focuses on his task at hand, unaware of the SUV hurtling towards him. Caught on dashcam footage as the SUV approaches, its tires struggling for traction on the slippery road. With a sudden swerve, the SUV veers into the oncoming traffic lane directly towards the tow truck driver. Miraculously, the tow truck driver emerges unscathed from the near miss. In a shocking incident captured on dashcam video, a driver's reckless actions resulted in the assault of a St. Paul police officer in 2021. 259, he just ran for me, just uh, in a squad. Here. Despite the officer's attempts to stop him, Moo's determination to evade capture led to a dangerous collision with the squad car. Within moments of the crash, officers were able to pull Moo from the vehicle and make an arrest, bringing an end to the dangerous situation. In the remote stretches of Kinney County, a routine traffic stop takes a dramatic turn as a DPS trooper finds themselves in pursuit of a human smuggler on foot. As the trooper approaches the vehicle, the driver, hailing from Colorado, makes a desperate attempt to evade capture, bailing out of the car and fleeing on foot. On the Face on the ground! Move. Move. Catch me back. 
Despite the suspect's attempts to outpace the trooper, the law enforcement officer maintains a steady pursuit, closing the gap with each stride. With nowhere left to run, the suspect surrenders to the trooper, recognizing the futility of resisting arrest any further. In the heart of Little Canada, a dramatic pursuit unfolded as local Roseville officers spotted a stolen Lexus, igniting a high-stakes chase through the city streets. <laughs> With determination and precision, sheriff's deputies take primary control of the pursuit, maneuvering through the busy streets as they close in on the suspect vehicle. After multiple tense moments and close calls, a deputy executes a well-timed pit maneuver, successfully disabling the stolen Lexus and bringing it to a stop. Officers surrounded the disabled vehicle as the driver attempted to flee on foot, leaving behind his female passenger. In the midst of bad weather conditions, a high-speed chase unfolds on the rain-soaked highways of Arkansas. With no intention of letting the suspect escape, law enforcement officers push forward in pursuit. Despite the treacherous conditions, the determined officers continue their pursuit. Suddenly, one sharp-eyed Arkansas state trooper spots an opportunity to end the chase. With precision and determination, the trooper executes a daring pit maneuver. But the drama doesn't end there. In a decisive move to ensure the suspect cannot escape, another police car collides with the suspect's vehicle, sealing its fate and bringing the chase to a dramatic conclusion. With the suspect's vehicle incapacitated, law enforcement officers move in swiftly, ensuring the suspect has nowhere to run. In the vast expanses of Kinney County, a dramatic scene unfolded as DPS troopers engaged in a high-speed pursuit with a human smuggler. Bell out, bell out, bell out, bell out. One, two. Caught on dashcam, the suspect vehicle allowing several illegal immigrants to bail out along the way as troopers maintain their pursuit. The suspect unexpectedly accelerates the vehicle, catching the troopers off guard as they resume the chase at high speed. Despite the suspect's attempts to evade capture, troopers remain relentless in their pursuit, determined to bring the dangerous individual to justice. With the situation escalating, troopers decided to execute a pit maneuver, a precision immobilization technique to end the pursuit safely. In Conroe, Texas, after a recent tropical storm, a harrowing incident unfolded when a man mistakenly drove his car into a flooded street, unaware of the impending danger. As the situation rapidly deteriorates, officers quickly realize the severity of the predicament. The car begins to sink at an alarming rate, putting the elderly man's life at risk. With incredible bravery, the detective sheds his shirt and wades into the floodwaters to reach the sinking car and save the man inside. As the car disappears beneath the surface, the detective dives underwater, risking his safety to retrieve the man. After a few agonizing seconds, the detective resurfaces with the elderly man in his arms, a testament to his unwavering determination and heroism. In a tense chase between law enforcement and a suspect, the situation takes an unexpected turn when the suspect decides to abandon his vehicle in a residential area. The scene shows the suspect exiting his car and attempting to flee on foot, his pants sagging as he runs. As the suspect runs, his sagging pants hinder his movement, causing him to struggle to maintain his pace. 855, come up to the hill. He's also like, put your hands on your head. The officer wastes no time in pursuing the suspect, closing the distance between them, despite the suspect's attempts to evade capture. On the busy interstates of Little Rock and North Little Rock, Arkansas, chaos erupted as troopers found themselves in pursuit of an unexpected suspect, a man on an ATV. His back tire just came off. Okay. 
As the chase intensifies, one of the ATV's tires blows out, causing it to roll into the highway. The suspect continues to flee, undeterred by the obstacle. Despite the setback, the suspect presses on, weaving through traffic as the troopers struggle to keep up. Go ahead, get him right here. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! The scene unfolds with the troopers navigating through the chaos, determined to bring the suspect to justice. The chase reaches its climax as the troopers finally manage to corner the suspect and force him to the ground. In a gripping display of law enforcement expertise, Trooper Bird of the Arkansas State Police springs into action as he responds to a call from the Little Rock Police Department. With nerves of steel, Trooper Bird maneuvers his vehicle to the forefront of the pursuit, determined to bring the suspect to justice. Despite the suspect's reckless attempts to evade capture, Trooper Bird remains steadfast in his pursuit. As the pursuit reaches a critical juncture, Trooper Bird seizes the moment and executes a lightning-fast TVI, bringing the stolen Nissan Altima to a dramatic halt. Trooper Bird's swift actions ensured the suspect's capture and restored safety to the highway. In a dramatic pursuit on the highways of Arkansas, an Arkansas State Police Trooper attempts to pull over a white Chevrolet cruise for suspected fictitious tags. However, the situation quickly escalates as Cruz's driver refuses to stop and accelerates away from the trooper. As the chase intensifies, the trooper makes multiple attempts to intervene tactically, including a tactical vehicle intervention TVI maneuver. However, each attempt proves unsuccessful as the driver of the cruise maintains high speeds and reckless maneuvers. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! The chase intensifies as the Chevrolet Cruze loses control, hurtling off the road and crashing into a tree. With suspense mounting, law enforcement swiftly secures the scene, bringing the perilous pursuit to a heart-stopping conclusion. In a harrowing incident on a flooded highway, a driver found herself trapped in her car as rising floodwaters threatened to engulf her vehicle. As the water levels rise and time runs short, a team of brave rescuers arrives on the scene, determined to save the stranded driver and her vehicle. Despite the dangerous conditions, they spring into action, risking their own lives to save another. The driver and her vehicle were successfully rescued as they were pulled to safety by the rescue team. The driver is seen emerging from the car, safe and unharmed, thanks to the heroic efforts of the rescuers. In a heart-stopping chase through the highways of Arkansas, an Arkansas state trooper spots a black Ford Escape traveling at a dangerously high speed, clocking in at 82 miles per hour in a 55-month zone. Despite the trooper's attempts to stop the vehicle, the driver refuses to yield, accelerating even further and recklessly maneuvering through curves at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Get on your face! I didn't see it! Get on your face! I didn't know you were behind me, love. I didn't. Hands behind your back. With the suspect now stopped, the trooper performs a felony takedown, ordering the driver to lesser Jeffers out of the car and onto the ground. Mrs. Jeffers is then handcuffed and taken into custody. In a heart-pounding chase that unfolded on the bustling highways of Miami, law enforcement agencies from across the region joined forces to apprehend a fleeing suspect. After a relentless pursuit, it was an FHP trooper who ultimately brought the dangerous chase to an end. Signal 4, signal 4. Going 12 whiskey now on 72nd Avenue. As the chase reaches a critical moment, the suspect attempts to make a sharp turn but loses control, crashing into the median and careening into the one-way lane. The footage shows the suspect's car surrounded by police cars, effectively boxing it in against a nearby fence, leaving the suspect with no route for escape. Come on, 
With nowhere left to run, the suspect exits the vehicle and attempts to flee on foot, but the quick actions of the FHP trooper and other officers ensure that the suspect is swiftly apprehended. In a routine patrol on the highways of Arkansas, a state trooper spotted a white Hyundai Elantra traveling in the left lane. Upon running the car's tag, it was discovered that the vehicle lacked insurance. Ignoring the trooper's commands to stop, the suspect leads law enforcement on a dangerous chase, weaving through traffic and evading capture. Dashcam footage captures the intense moments as the trooper maneuvers their vehicle alongside the Hyundai, attempting to execute a pit maneuver to bring the pursuit to an end. Get on your face! Turn away from me! Get off the phone! The trooper orders the suspect out of the car at gunpoint, instructing them to lie face down on the ground and submit to arrest. As the suspect is taken into custody, they admit to possessing both marijuana and a firearm, further compounding their legal troubles. In a heart-pounding chase through the streets of Georgia, a Jasper woman found herself facing felony charges after attempting to cash a bad check and fleeing from law enforcement at speeds reaching 90 miles per hour. Identified as Rosalyn Becker, the woman fled the scene in her Toyota Camry, leading police on a dangerous pursuit through Coweta County. Dashcam footage captures the intense moments as Becker runs a red light and speeds through school zones, reaching over 70 miles per hour. Despite Becker's attempts to flee, law enforcement officers swiftly apprehended her, ensuring the safety of the community and bringing an end to the dangerous pursuit. In the rugged wilderness of Clackamas County, Oregon, law enforcement officers are engaged in a high-stakes pursuit with two brothers, wanted for multiple theft, burglary, and methamphetamine-related cases. As the suspects attempt to evade capture by weaving through the trees, law enforcement officers strategically position their vehicles to block potential escape routes. Despite their efforts to flee, the suspects find themselves sliding uncontrollably on the icy road, with law enforcement closing in rapidly. As the suspect vehicle comes to a halt, the two brothers abandon their car and attempt to flee on foot into the snowy forest. After a relentless pursuit, law enforcement officers successfully apprehend both suspects, bringing an end to their reckless attempt to escape justice. In a quiet corner of Arkansas, a routine patrol turned into a high-stakes pursuit for a state trooper, as captured by the dashcam footage. They pursue the van, navigating the twists and turns of the dirt roads while coordinating with other units as the chase progresses. With precision timing, Trooper Middlecoff strategically positions their patrol car, forcing the suspect to lose control and collide with the patrol unit, bringing the pursuit to a dramatic end. The trooper exits their vehicle with a weapon drawn, ordering the suspect to surrender. The suspect complies and is taken into custody without further incident. With the suspect apprehended, the trooper conducts a search, discovering that the suspect has a felony warrant out of Mississippi. In a tense pursuit through the streets of Ramsey County, Minnesota, deputies found themselves locked in a dangerous chase with a fleeing Ford pickup truck. With backup units joining the pursuit, deputies doubled down on their efforts, attempting multiple pit maneuvers in succession to immobilize the fleeing truck. After a relentless pursuit, deputies successfully executed a pit maneuver, bringing the suspect's vehicle to a halt. With no avenue for escape, the suspect's attempt to flee on foot is thwarted by the swift action of law enforcement, who position their vehicles strategically to cut off any potential escape routes. 
Dash camera footage captured the harrowing moments when a Travis County Sheriff's deputy found herself trapped in rising floodwaters while on duty. Hello? Five Acre Tony, I hear them screaming around me. Um, they're pretty close to my proximity. Hello? As the deputy drove along a block of littered road, she encountered a scene of utter devastation, the road completely submerged by floodwaters. Despite her dire situation, the deputy remains calm and composed. A rescue helicopter arrived at her location and deployed a rescue rope for her to secure herself before being lifted to safety. Thanks to the swift action of the rescue team, she was brought to solid ground unharmed. In the vast expanse of Hidalgo County, Texas, a routine traffic stop took a dramatic turn when a human smuggler led DPS troopers on a high-speed vehicle pursuit. <laughs> As the pursuit unfolded, the suspect displayed reckless disregard for the safety of others, putting innocent lives at risk in a desperate attempt to evade capture. With public safety in jeopardy, DPS troopers decided to employ a pit maneuver, a precision immobilization technique to bring the pursuit to a halt. There's still bodies in the car. Yeah. Driver in custody. Despite the forceful intervention, the suspect refused to surrender. Determined to evade capture, they bailed out of the vehicle and attempted to flee on foot. However, the swift action of law enforcement prevailed as officers apprehended the suspect and placed them under arrest. In the quiet suburbs of Pennsylvania, a routine day for law enforcement took an unexpected turn when a rogue tire careened off a pickup truck, smashing into the windshield of a parked police car. Oblivious to the impending danger, the officer sat inside the patrol car, diligently observing the flow of vehicles passing by. Without warning, disaster struck as the rogue tyre, detached from a pickup truck, hurtled through the air and crashed into the windshield of the parked police car. In a heart-pounding chase along the bustling highways of Tampa, Florida, officers from the Florida Highway Patrol found themselves locked in a dangerous pursuit with a suspect vehicle. As the chase reached the flyover highway, officers saw an opportunity to bring the pursuit to a halt. The police officers executed a pit maneuver. However, the suspect had other plans. Refusing to surrender, he attempted to regain control of their vehicle and flee from the scene. The officers, in pursuit, were determined not to let the suspect escape. He executed a second pit maneuver, bringing the suspect's car to a sudden stop. With no time to waste, officers swiftly exit their vehicles, surrounding the suspect and commanding him to surrender. In a shocking turn of events, a 13-year-old boy stands accused of a terrifying carjacking and abduction. In a daring maneuver, the police patrol car executed a U-turn to chase down the suspect vehicle. The tension mounts as the patrol car closes in on the fleeing car. With precision, the patrol car collides with the rear of the suspect's vehicle, bringing it to a halt. Within moments, law enforcement officers swarm the scene and apprehend the young suspect. In the quiet town of Excelsior Springs, Missouri, the police recently found themselves in an unprecedented pursuit, one involving a truck towing an entire house. With lights flashing and sirens blaring, the police raced after the unconventional suspect, trying to bring the unusual chase to a safe conclusion. In the end, the officers of the Axel Police Department were able to apprehend the suspect and bring the bizarre chase to a safe conclusion. In the dead of night, Trooper Gunnar Fultz of the Arkansas State Police races through the streets, responding to reports of a high-speed chase.
precision and skill, the backup car executes the pit maneuver, causing the suspect's car to spin out of control and crash into the highway wall. In a last-ditch attempt to escape, the suspect tries to maneuver around the wreckage, but loses control and crashes into a nearby fence. Defeated and cornered, the suspect has no choice but to surrender to the relentless force of the Arkansas State Police. In a dramatic turn of events, the Vidor Police Department finds themselves in pursuit of a stolen truck driven by 31-year-old Robert Tunnell. With no intention of surrendering, Tunnel races down the highway, putting countless lives at risk with his reckless driving. As the chase intensifies, Tunnel loses control of the stolen truck, causing it to crash into a highway wall with a deafening impact. Despite the chaos, law enforcement officers swiftly move in to surround the suspect's vehicle, ensuring that Tunnel has nowhere to escape. On Route 33, just west of the Fairfield County line, Lieutenant Edward Schillig of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office spots a 2001 Chevrolet Cruze racing by, clocked at a staggering 88 miles per hour. Oh, crap. He just hit someone. He just hit a human. Pedestrians and truck. In a shocking turn of events, the suspect vehicle strikes a pedestrian crossing the road, sending shockwaves through the community and adding urgency to the pursuit. The scene shifts to the chaos of the chase as the suspect vehicle attempts to evade capture, weaving through traffic and endangering innocent lives. Despite the efforts of law enforcement to bring the chase to a halt, the suspects refuse to surrender, leading to a dramatic standoff. As the suspect vehicle becomes disabled, the occupants attempt to flee on foot, sparking a tense confrontation with police. In a surprising turn of events at a local McDonald's drive through police officers received an urgent call about a man trapped inside his car. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the officers quickly sprang into action. With the man's safety at the forefront of their minds, they decided to break the window of the car to gain access. With their training and expertise, the officers quickly checked on the man to ensure his safety. Thanks to their swift response, the trap driver received the attention he needed in a timely manner. Memorial Day in Oak Brook took a dramatic turn when police officers were notified of a stolen vehicle in their vicinity. The Jaguar SUV had recently been reported stolen from a home in Oswego. Instead of complying, the driver fled, prompting Lombard police to join the pursuit. As the suspect drove recklessly through the Yorktown shopping center and onto main roads, one of the tires shredded, but the chase continued. With the mounting pressure from law enforcement and a rear left tire missing, the suspect finally realized his options were limited. Moments later, on the Winfield exit ramp from I-355, he made the decision to stop and surrender. In the heart of Arkansas, trooper Robert Rome finds himself in a high-stakes chase with a Chevrolet sedan traveling at speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour. The video captures the moment when the suspect, in a reckless attempt to evade capture, decides to make a left turn, causing his speed to decrease. Seizing the opportunity, Trooper Rome swiftly executes a pit maneuver, bringing the high-speed chase to a sudden halt. With no room to flee, Trooper Rome wastes no time and exits his vehicle, moving quickly to apprehend the suspect. Despite the suspect's attempts to evade capture, Trooper Rome ensures that justice is served, bringing an end to the dangerous pursuit. In the dead of night, amidst pouring rain, an Arkansas State Police officer engages in a high-speed pursuit of a motorcycle rider.
Despite the challenging weather, the pursuit continues, with the motorcycle rider pushing the limits of speed and maneuverability. The video captures the moment when the motorcycle rider loses control and veers off the road, crashing into the side. Stop! Right there! Stop! Stop! Show me your hands now! As the officer reaches the suspect, the rider attempts to flee on foot, but the officer reacts swiftly, apprehending him before he can get far. In the light of day, the Arkansas State Police are in hot pursuit of a stolen F-150, racing through the streets with reckless abandon. TBI, with precision and skill, the Arkansas State Police navigate through heavy traffic, closing in on the stolen vehicle. As the pursuit intensified, the Arkansas State Police decided to execute a pit maneuver, a tactic designed to immobilize the fleeing vehicle. With the suspect's vehicle disabled, the Arkansas State Police quickly moved in to apprehend the driver. In a desperate attempt to escape, he bolts from the scene on foot, but the Arkansas State Police officer reacts swiftly, apprehending him before he can get far. In the bustling streets of Little Rock, Arkansas, chaos ensued as a routine traffic stop turned into a high-speed pursuit. With no signs of surrender from the suspect, the Arkansas State Trooper makes a split-second decision to execute a pit maneuver, a precision immobilization technique to end the chase safely. You exit the vehicle. Slowly exit the vehicle. As the dust settles, the officer quickly approaches the suspect's vehicle, issuing commands for the driver to exit with their hands raised. The footage shows the suspect complying with the officer's orders, slowly emerging from the vehicle with their hands in the air. In a high-stakes pursuit, troopers Morris and Fultz from the Arkansas State Police embark on a mission to intercept a stolen vehicle. With precision and skill, Trooper Morris executes the TVI, causing the suspect's vehicle to spin out and collide with a guardrail, bringing the pursuit to a dramatic halt. With the suspect's vehicle disabled, Troopers Morris and Fultz swiftly approach the scene, ready to apprehend the driver. With nowhere to go, the suspect complies with the officer's commands, slowly exiting the vehicle and moving backward towards them. Troopers Morris and Fultz quickly move in to arrest the suspect, later identified as Jeremiah Green from Memphis, Tennessee. In the dead of night, Trooper Nicholas Smith races to the scene of a harrowing police pursuit captured through his lens. The chase continues at a breakneck pace until one of the police cars executes a skillful maneuver, causing the suspect's vehicle to crash into the wall of the highway. The impact is so powerful that debris scatters across the road, evidence of the violent collision. With caution and precision, the officers approach the crashed vehicle, ready to confront the suspect and ensure the safety of all involved. The suspect emerges from the wreckage with her hands raised in surrender, complying with the officers' commands as they move in to make the arrest. In a jaw-dropping turn of events, Arkansas 5th Judicial Circuit Court Judge William Bill Pearson finds himself at the center of a police chase, captured in raw dashcam footage. The video shows Judge Pearson driving a grey GMC pickup, dangerously close to hitting officers at a DUI checkpoint before embarking on a mile-long chase, veering off the road multiple times. Despite officers' attempts to stop him, Pearson's truck continues to evade capture until a trooper's bold maneuver finally disables it. The scene shifts to Pearson's attempt to flee again, met with officers drawing their guns and demanding his surrender. In a daring chase through the streets of Rogers, Arkansas, Arkansas State Police officers find themselves in pursuit of a suspect who fled from the Springdale Police Department.
As the suspect vehicle speeds through the streets, reaching dangerous speeds, police officers decide to perform a pit maneuver to immobilize the suspect's vehicle safely. As the suspect attempts to flee, a police officer swiftly approaches the vehicle, giving verbal commands for the suspect to exit. Despite initial resistance from the suspect, police officers successfully apprehend him, ensuring that he faces the consequences of his actions. In a tense and dramatic confrontation, police officers confront a man named Steve, who is suspected of driving a skyjack while under the influence of alcohol. Get me. How about that? I tell you what, Steve, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. Come on up. The buddy. hard way, on the way to jail, we're going to stop by the hospital. Despite officers' commands, Steve initially refuses to comply, insisting that he's just at work and needs to get back to his job. As the situation escalates, officers use a combination of negotiation and physical intervention to bring Steve down from the skyjack. Now stop resisting. Stop resisting. Could have, we could have did this the easy way, but no, you had to do it the hard way. Despite Steve's resistance, officers ultimately succeed in apprehending him and placing him under arrest for driving under the influence. In a dramatic turn of events, dashcam footage captures the intense pursuit initiated by an Arkansas state trooper attempting to pull over a speeding vehicle. The situation becomes increasingly volatile, with the trooper forced to take decisive action. With nerves on edge and the safety of all involved at risk, the trooper executes a precision pit maneuver, bringing the pursuit to a sudden halt. As the suspect's vehicle comes to a stop, the trooper wastes no time in approaching the vehicle and ordering the suspect to exit. Despite initial resistance from the suspect, the trooper remains firm, ensuring that the suspect complies with orders and exits the vehicle. In a tense and adrenaline fueled pursuit, ASP trooper Quincy Harris finds himself engaged in a high-speed chase with a Mustang, attempting to evade capture in the dead of night. With the Mustang reaching dangerous speeds, Trooper Harris sees an opportunity and executes a skillful maneuver, causing the Mustang to lose control and crash into the side of the road. As the Mustang comes to a halt in a ditch, Trooper Harris wastes no time in springing into action, swiftly exiting his patrol car and approaching the suspect vehicle. Trooper Harris apprehends the suspect without hesitation, ensuring that the dangerous pursuit comes to an end. In a dramatic turn of events, dash camera video captures the intense pursuit of a Nashville woman wanted for murder as police officers in Cobb County race against time to apprehend the suspect. As the pursuit continues, one officer sees an opportunity and executes a skilled maneuver, causing the suspect's car to spin in the middle of the road. Despite the maneuver, the suspect refuses to surrender, attempting to evade capture by speeding away from the scene. Another police car joins the chase and executes a precise maneuver, causing the suspect's car to crash into a parked truck, bringing the pursuit to a dramatic halt. As the suspect attempts to flee on foot, officers quickly surround him, pointing their guns and ordering him to surrender. Dashcam footage provides a gripping glimpse into a police chase that unfolded in Warren, Michigan, leading to the arrest of three local men on multiple felony charges. Ready? It's probably gonna take off. <laughs> Windows down! Windows down! As the officer approaches the vehicle, tensions rise as they anticipate the possibility of the suspects fleeing. The tension mounts as the vehicle suddenly accelerates, taking off down the road as the pursuit begins. Two's mailing, two black males, three black males in hoodies. Kelly. Northbound Kelly. As the suspect's vehicle races down Kelly Road, three of the occupants decide to bail out, fleeing on foot into the nearby area. With the help of additional units and coordination with neighboring law enforcement agencies, the fleeing suspects are quickly apprehended. In a dramatic turn of events, Trooper Jackson Shoemate of the Arkansas State Police springs into action as he joins the pursuit of a fleeing suspect vehicle. With 
precision and determination, Trooper Shoemate catches up to the suspect vehicle, a blue Chevrolet Malibu, and executes a tactical vehicle intervention, TVI, on the exit ramp. Hi, Jackson. Hang on, boss. It's moving backwards. As the suspect vehicle comes to a halt, Trooper Shoemate and officers from the north, Little Rock PD, conduct a felony takedown, apprehending the driver, Jerry Irving, without further incident. What started as a routine traffic stop quickly escalated into a high-stakes pursuit when the driver of the Lincoln Navigator decided to flee from the Arkansas State Police. Where's your supervisor? You're not getting a supervisor. Sir, I want a supervisor. Step out of the car and walk to the front. Sir, I want a supervisor. Step out of the car and walk to the front. As the trooper approaches the vehicle, they instruct the driver to roll down their window but encounter resistance due to the tinted windows. Despite repeated requests from the trooper, the driver refuses to comply, prompting suspicions and escalating tensions. As the trooper calls for backup, the driver suddenly accelerates, initiating a pursuit down the highway. Determined to bring the chase to an end, the trooper executes a precision maneuver, pitting the Lincoln Navigator and forcing it to a stop. In a heart-pounding chase around headquarters, the Arkansas State Police, ASP, find themselves in pursuit of an unlicensed truck. As the chase continues, officers race to apprehend the suspect, whose erratic behavior raises concerns about the safety of those nearby. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands out like an airplane! Hands out like an airplane! The pursuit reaches a climax as the suspect's truck comes to a halt and officers quickly move in to make an arrest. In a surreal and unexpected turn of events, police in Ann Arbor found themselves in hot pursuit of a 12-year-old boy who had commandeered a stolen forklift. As the forklift careens down the road, it strikes several parked cars and road signs, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. With adrenaline pumping and sirens blaring, the pursuit stretches on, weaving through residential streets and sidewalks as the boy shows no signs of slowing down. Despite repeated attempts by law enforcement to bring the chase to a halt, the determined youngster refuses to yield, navigating the stolen vehicle with surprising skill and agility. In a heart-stopping moment captured by a police dashcam, Officer Mitchell Veenstra and four courageous citizens sprang into action to rescue a man trapped under a burning SUV. Go, 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 go! Go! Left! Keep pushing! I don't care! One, two, three. You guys ready? One, two, three, go! Despite the danger, Officer Veenstra and the volunteers wasted no time, rocking the SUV just enough for the driver to free his arm and escape the inferno. Get some space. Yeah. Back, back behind my patrol car. With flames engulfing the SUV and the situation growing increasingly perilous, Officer Veenstra directs everyone to back away from the vehicle, ensuring their safety. With the help of Officer Veenstra's quick thinking and the bravery of those on the scene, the driver is safely evacuated and emergency responders arrive to extinguish the flames. In the dead of night, amidst the quiet stretches of the highway, a Florida state trooper finds themselves embroiled in a high-speed pursuit. Mile after mile, pursuit rages on, with the determined trooper refusing to let the suspect evade justice. As the suspect attempts a sharp turn, their car loses control, slowing down momentarily, presenting a critical opportunity for the pursuing officer. Seizing the moment with precision and expertise, the trooper executes a skillful maneuver, bringing the chase to a dramatic halt. With the suspect's car immobilized, the trooper wastes no time in springing into action, exiting their vehicle and approaching the apprehended suspect. In a heart-pounding chase through the streets, a police officer finds themselves in a high-stakes pursuit of a fleeing suspect. The 
police car weaves through traffic, gaining ground on the fleeing vehicle as it races through the city streets. With precision and skill, the officer maneuvers their car, closing in on the suspect's vehicle with expert precision. Suddenly, the suspect's car comes to a screeching halt and the driver jumps out, fleeing on foot. Undeterred, the police officer springs into action, chasing the suspect on foot through the bustling streets. <laughs> 